Hello, in today's video, we will work together on the Azure Disaster Recovery that you can see here with the design and the Terraform code. So in this video, we will look at multiple things. The first one, how you can set up your own account on Brandboard by inviting all your team members to join the organization, creating different teams and creating different projects. Then, how you can set up your own cloud credentials and gig credentials to either do pull requests or directly provision your infrastructure from Brandboard, and then how you can use UCI CD to make sure that this infrastructure is secure and cost efficient. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to members. And here, this is a place where you can invite all your team members to join the organization by specifying their email address and their roles from owner to guest. Once it's done, as you can see, you will have the first name, last name, email, invitation accepted or not, organization role, and the billing status. Then, once it's done, you can invite them in different teams. So here, to create your team, you simply need to specify the name, then who will be the admin, and who will be the members. Once it's done, you have different teams, and then you can create different projects. So here, for example, at BrainBot, we have the project use cases, Brainboard trainings and for example Brainboard community. So here simply need to add the name that you want, who would be the team and what are the environment that you would like to create. I'm showing you that because here when we go back to the design area we have what we call the architecture selector. So here you have different projects from Brainboard community to use cases. In each project you have different environment here from dev to webinars and then in each environment you have different architectures and for today's use case we are working on this one the azure disaster recovery multi-region deployment so here you also have the possibility to do multi-cloud but here we will only work on azure for today's session and then you have all the cloud resources that you can use to either modify or simply create it from scratch this infrastructure so here, for example, if we look uh, at the Terraform code, we also have all the Terraform files, for example, the main.tf with all the resources. We have the providers.tf, for example, here, the variables. So here you have variables that you can create either at the organization layer, projects, environment or architecture. So this is a place where you need to create and manage all your variables for example here let's say public key here you have the name the scope architecture the type is going to be a string then you have the default and you can add also the description if you want so here we have variables you can of course create your locals and then you have your backend here so your backend to set it up is very easy simply need to go to data and here you have multiple options either you want to use aws s3 Azure Blob Storage, Terraform Cloud, or Brainboard Backend. So now let's go back to the design. So here, what I'm going to show you as well is that you can create and have a global history of all the changes that happen on your infrastructure. For example, here, let's say we call it initial commit. And then let's say that here, for example, you would like to add resources. Just examples, but as you can understand, these are the resources that you can use. So we support all of them. So here, for example, let's say API management, you want to use it. To use it is very easy. Simply need to drag and drop it here. The RD card will be automatically open. So the RD card is actually where you will need to configure the resources with the required parameter, advanced configuration. Here, extra attributes with the meta arguments of Terraform with the count that depends on and the for each. So for example, here, let's say we call it default. We close our the count and then the golden rule of Brainboard is that everything that you do on the design will be automatically reflected on your Terraform code. So as you can see, I didn't need to write a single line of Terraform code. It has already been written for me. And here, what I can do is that I can create a new version, added resources commit and then here I can see I can roll back to initial commit and I can go to add the resources so like that you modify it and each time you modify for example you make sure that you create different version of it so here 
we have the main.tf. Let's say now that you would don't want to have all of these resources in the same Terraform file, then what we can do, for example, here, as you can see, we have three resource group, one main, one region one and one region two. So here, for example, let's say that we choose all of these resources. And then now we create so main LG, save it. And here we have the main.tf and the main.lg. And here you can look at the different files that you can create on Brainstorm. So now let's say that you're happy with your design, with your Terraform code. Also, we have included here the readme with the description the architecture components that we have used, the requirement and how to use the architecture. Now let's say that here you have two options. Either you want to do a pull request. So to do the pull request, then you need to set up your own Git tokens. So here, for example, you can use ADO, you can use Bitbucket or you can use GitLab, but you can also use at the organization level GitHub. So now let's go back to the design here for example if you want to do a request then you need to choose which one you want you you want to use so let's say gitlab here we have brainboard demo here we choose a name so disaster recovery multi region deployment when you create you create the pull request directly on brainboard and then here, as you can see, you have the name of the person who created the pull request. You have all the changes with all your Terraform files. And then here, what you can do is that you can merge directly this pull request and use another deployment tool that you're using, for example, to provision your infrastructure. So here we close it. Now what we can do is that here, of course, we can do Terraform commands. So here, we have the plan and we have the output of the plan. You can do plan, validate, apply or destroy. What we're going to do now is that we're going to design our own CI CD. So here we are going to create a new workflow. So for example, here is going to be security and cost. We create it and then we design it. So here it is going to be Terraform plan. Of course, you can use validate, apply or destroy plan. Then here, let's say that we would like to look at the cost of this infrastructure. So here is cost estimation, API key. And then here, save. In parallel to that, let's say that we would like to use, let's say here, TFSEC. So TFSEC will scan your Terraform code to detect any potential vulnerabilities. So here, security check. Then what we can do here is that we can either warn our team by email, by sending them an email or by Slack for them to come and look at the output of InfraCost and the output of TFSEC. So here, for example, send email. So here is notify cloud architects. So here, for example, it will be this one. Here, check the output of TFSEC and infra cost. So here we're good, save. And then what we can do here as well is that we can also here use Terraform apply to provision the infrastructure directly from brain. So here require approval. Here, for example, it could be TV pen board. So here you indicate, you specify the person that you would like to notify. And here we save. So here we have used Terraform plan, InfraCost and TFSEN, the email, and then Terraform apply to provision the infrastructure. So here we run the pipeline. So here you will have the status of each task here, for example, is pending. And then here you will directly be able to see the output of the task. So here, as you can see, 
we have the output we look at it okay here we have 32 resources to add zero to change zero to destroy now we look at tfsec no problem detected so here we are good to go we will also look at infra cost for the cost estimation to understand if we are good in terms of budget or not so here we have the output with the overall total cost of 378 dollars here we have all the resources so here we have the name the monthly quantity units and the monthly cost so here we have the output here the cloud architect has been notified by email so it will go back to brainboard directly and then here we can provision infrastructure directly from brainboard it requires approval so here we simply need to approve the task once we have done it now we can have here of course the status the id the pipeline is the last one as you can see one minute ago initiator the name of the workflow security and cost here what we can do now is that we can convert it into a template security and cost all the templates you will be able to find them here let's say now that you, let's say you would like to use the drift detection use it as a template here you are able to look at the name you can change it of course the description when is scheduled so you can also automate the task on a either weekly or daily basis and then here you have all your workflow so here security and cost is the one we have designed together and here is the drift detection that you can include and automate for regular check so here we are done with that so now what we can do of course is that we can convert this infrastructure into a template so here it has already been converted for you so you simply need to convert and then let's say that you would like to use it in another for example environment open the environment here QA let's say you go to the templates here you look for disaster recovery if you want to use it you simply need to clone the template into a new architecture so here you have the design you have the terraform code as well so like that, I showed you how you could invite all your team members to join the organization, create different team, create different projects, look at the resources and creating different Terraform files as well. And then, of course, either do a pull request or use the CI/CD to go from the design to the deployment and using TFSEC and InfraCost. So I hope this video has been useful for you. Again, if you need anything from us, then you can directly ping us here we will be happy to help you and then let's build your cloud infrastructure directly on brainboard together have a great day